Good morning, everybody. Today is the last day of school. Yay! You are officially third graders after today. Congratulations. The second grade teachers made a special video today, so please be sure to watch all the way to the very end. And don't forget today is the drive by goodbyes between 10 o'clock and one o'clock. So I'm sure you've heard a lot about that, but make sure that you come on over to Neblin so that you can say goodbye. Um, the second grade teachers will be sitting along Oakland Avenue where the buses are. So come on over so that we can say goodbye to each other before summer. And since it's the last day of school, we need to read one final story for our second grade year. And this story is called, When It's the Last Day of School. When it's the last day of school, this will be me. He's looking pretty happy, just like I'm sure you look today. Flying, jumping, can't stop smiling, running all the way to school, me. When it's the last day of school, I won't talk to Tony during silent reading time or cut in line to sharpen my pencil. I'll say all the words to the Pledge of Allegiance and not skip over the Republic part. I'll get my drink at the drinking fountain, one, two, three, and not spit the water back out because it's warm. I'll do all my work right on time and I'll get Mrs. Bremwood's last gold star sticker for the year. She'll be amazed that I could do all that work with my lucky pencil, the one that is just an eraser and a point. It's the pencil everyone wants, but I tell them that it takes a lot of standing in line and a lot of sharpening and a lot of writing to get a pencil to look like mine. Some of you used to like to do that to your pencils too, didn't you? Get them nice and short. When it's the last day of school, I'll only go to the bathroom one time in the morning and one time in the afternoon. And on the way back from the bathroom, I'll just wave to John the janitor instead of stopping in his office and asking him about what he's been cleaning lately. And did he know that the towel machine in the boys' bathroom was jammed? At lunch, I'll thank the lady who always smiles at me and even the one with the grumpy face. And I'll tell them that it's a good lunch, even if it's not. And luckily at Nevlin, we don't have any lunch ladies that are grumpy, do we? And their lunches are good every day. I'll tear open my straw and not blow the wrapper off at Tony or smash my milk carton or show Tiffany Primrose how I can burp and talk at the same time. <laughs> That's quite a talent, isn't it? When it's the last day of school, I'll watch the smart board about lizards during science. I won't think about riding bikes through the fire hydrant water with Tony. Or maybe going camping if we can get a tent. Or finding that secret crabbing spot. I'll sit in my chair and not tip it back or put my head in front of the screen or laugh with an outside voice because the science guy in the movie is wearing weird pants. I'll think about lizards and how they're reptiles and what they eat and how they live in places that are hot, like summer, like what's coming up when the last day of school is over. I'll clean out my desk and I'll scrub the top of it with paper towels and the spray stuff that smells like my dentist. And I'll give my desk three squirts, not a bunch just like Mrs. Bremwood says. I sure wish we could have done that all together this year. I'll load my backpack with my lucky pencil and my leftover crayons and the markers that work and the scissors that don't and the sucker from a long time ago that I forgot to eat. When it's the last day of school and the bell rings, that last bell, I'm going to give Mrs. Bremwood my strongest hug ever. And I'll kind of pick her up a little bit and then she'll laugh and say, I've so enjoyed having you in class, James. Have a wonderful summer. I would love it if we could have all given you hugs at the last day of school. And then, and then, I'll explode. He's so happy that it's summer, he's going to explode. 
I bet some of you feel the same exact way. I hope you enjoyed that story. And now Mrs. Hackensmith is going to share a Mad Lib that she created for all of you. Thank you, Mrs. Lunning, for that great story. Now I'm going to tell you a Mad Lib. A Mad Lib is a game that you and another person can, can do together. So what it is, is one person has a story and the story has different blanks that have to have words to be filled into those blanks. So you ask the other person without them ever reading the story to just give you certain words. Like for example, I would say, give me an adjective. And then you would just off the top of your head, give me a describing word. And then later on, I would take your list of words that you gave me and I would fill them into the different blanks of my story. And sometimes the stories can get pretty silly because the other person had no idea what the story was about. So for today's Mad Lib, I asked Mrs. Mickelson and Mrs. Lunning to be my partners and I asked them to give me a list of words. So we're gonna read the Mad Lib with their list of words filled into the blanks. Alrighty, now the blanks are the red words. So the red words are the words that Mrs. Mickelson and Mrs. Lane gave to me to help finish my Mad Lib. So here it is, as second grade comes to a close. School was almost over and the second grade teachers were really going to miss their second grade students. They tried to think of some beautiful things to do to keep themselves from getting too grumpy. They decided it might help to build a fun rock, but that didn't work. So instead they decided to visit McDonald's but it was closed. Then they thought it might help if they sang Twinkle Twinkle Little Star while they jumped. But that didn't work either. They wondered if shopping would help them feel better. So they went to Aldi and bought a dog, a refrigerator, and a desk. Unfortunately, that didn't even work. They tried turning on the TV and watched Star Wars for a few minutes. Sometimes food can help, so they ate some cookies and pizza, but then their arms started hurting. They even tried to read Pete the Cat for a while. Finally, they pulled out a book of silly pictures from their wonderful second grade classes. And that's when they felt excited. It turns out that memories of their second grade classes were what made them the happiest. So this is our Mad Live from us to you. I hope you enjoyed it. Now, Mrs. Mickelson has written a poem for you to enjoy. Thank you, Mrs. Hackensmith. That Mad Lib was really fun. Now, second grade, on this last day of school, I want you to think about how much time we spent in second grade working with poetry. We learned how to read poems, and we even did a little bit of writing of poetry. And the reason we did that is because learning poetry and learning to read poetry is a very good reading skill. You get better at your fluency, you work on your grammar, uh, you learn some more about rhythm. So poems are a great tool to help you become better readers. So thinking about poetry, I wrote a poem for all of you to hear. And this poem is a way for me to express to you how all three second grade teachers are feeling. So I'm going to read that poem to you now. Dear second grade, it meant so much to teach you every day. We wish you a fantastic summer with a lot of fun and play. Lunning, Hackensmith and Mickelson, we are quite a team. We love spending every day with you. It was almost like a dream. 
You learned to be a hard-working knight. You always made us smile. When learning was tough, you proved to yourself that hard work is worthwhile. Mr. Wolf loved when you earned I Can cards for doing what is right. We earned so many rewards and had fun. You are a wonderful knight. In March, we had to all go home to begin our distance learning. For nine weeks, you learned online. For your faces, we were yearning. But we all made the best of it. We made it as good as it can be. The teachers made videos every day for all of you to see. Sir Neblin will be back next year to welcome you to school. You will be a third grader and that will be really cool. So never forget your second grade year full of knowledge and good times too. There's just one more thing we'd like to say. Your second grade teachers really love you. I hope you like that poem. And now the second grade teachers will all come together with a special message for you. Hi, second graders. We're all together now. We're ready to send you off to third grade. But before we do that, could we sing the second grade theme song just one more time. Remember that song, We've Got a Feeling? Oh, my second graders love that song. Ex except it says that, that it's gonna be a great day. And I don't really think this is a great day when we have to say goodbye. Mm -hmm. You're right, Mrs. Hackensmith. Those words don't really fit with today, do they? Mm -hmm. I know, we can sing it a different way. Mrs. Lenning changed the words for an end of the year song. I think I know those words. I do too, I have them right here. <laughs> All right, we're gonna sing it boys and girls for you first and then I'm going to share my screen so that you can see the words and then you can sing it with us. Are you ready? Here we go. We've got a feeling. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best, best year. Woo! We've got a feeling. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best, best year. We had such fun. We learned a ton. Now we're so smart. Plus, we've got heart. We're Nevlin Knights. We do it right. Good friends we made. Off to third grade. We've got a feeling. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best, best year. Woo! All right, I'm gonna share my screen. That was great. So here we go, and I want you to join in with us. Are you ready? <clears throat> a feeling. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best, best year. Woo! We've got a feeling. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best, best year. Woo! We had such fun. We learned a ton. Now we've got, now we're so smart, plus we've got heart. We're Nevlin Knights. We do it right. Good friends we made. Off to third grade. We've got a feeling. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best year. Second grade really was the best, best year. Woo! Oh, Mrs. Lunning, you did a great job with that song. 
Thank you. And it was so fun for all of us second graders to sing the song together one last time. Now, second grade, we want to wish you a fabulous summer. We have a special treat for you now, and we want you to keep walking on sunshine. <laughs>